Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Dawn sends Lamenti at the Camden County Historical Society, which is making national headlines by celebrating slavery in New Jersey. The gold letters glisten in the sun with an ugly truth. Enslaved Africans once sold here. It's a large, newly unveiled monument that's meant to shine a light on a dark, sinful time in American history when people were shipped from Africa and sold as slaves. My great-great-grandfather, Henry Mathis, born in 1853 in Greenville, Alabama. He was born a slave. And as you can well imagine, in southern Alabama, there was a lot of trial and tribulations that occurred from his time to mine. Derek Davis and poet Sandra Turner Barnes worked for years as board members of Camden County's Historical Society, along with the nonprofit Middle Passage Project, on a mission to educate the public about New Jersey's slave trade that until 1863 flourished on Camden's waterfront. It is so important to me because my ancestors were slaves here in South Jersey. It's good that people now know, maybe they have a better appreciation of just the historical trials and tribulations that today's African Americans exist here in Camden and throughout the state, and hopefully to bring pride in to our ancestors who heretofore have just known degradation. This is the first historical marker in the state to recognize the slave trade in New Jersey, which was the last northern state to emancipate slaves before the Civil War. Back then, New Jersey was home to an estimated 12,000 slaves, many arriving via ferry boat, and were sold at auction, a brutal practice that inspired a beautiful poem by the great-great-granddaughter of slaves who were owned by the Haddon and Cooper families. Much more than merely flesh and bone was paraded and sold here upon this stone, the hearts and souls of our African nations. The new markers detailing Camden slave trade serve as a reminder of what's often missing among American monuments, remembering thousands who suffered and survived slavery, honoring their place in history with respect and truth. There's a quote that says, be ashamed to die until you've done something to uplift humanity. And if that's what my ancestors did, then I want to do that too. And the Camden County Historical Society will be launching those future projects coming up in the spring of 2018, which will involve school children. Reporting for Jersey Matters, Dawn Sands Lamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary.